Hi everyone, this is Gina Bang. I'm the Inside Sales Manager at Avanti Destinations. And I'm here today with Janet. She's our Product Manager for Asia. And we are here today to talk about what's new in uh, Asia, in Avanti's Asia. Uh, we have a lot of products. Uh, to go over as well has some new um, destinations to present to you today. So I just wanted to uh, go over a few introductory notes if you're not familiar with Avanti Destinations. We are 100% B2B. This means that we only work with travel agents and travel agencies. We never go direct to consumers. We are a one-stop travel source. From all the agents that I speak to, they're always very thankful that we keep adding more services for you to sell. So one of the great benefits of booking with Avanti is that we have some really amazing uh, airline contracts over to Asia. These are commissionable for our tour contract airfare. Last year, we did also implement a new optional air deposit. This makes it even easier for you to start quoting and actually locking in the fare with your client with a small deposit. For economy or premium economy, it's $400 per ticket. For business or first class, it's $1,000. So you're only paying a fraction of the, um, of the fare. Uh, full payment is now due 75 days in advance. We also have a variety of transfers in Asia. So these are private transfers and um, they can either be within the city, so like an airport to a hotel or maybe a pier to a hotel, but it can also be between cities in some destinations. We have a variety of accommodations. So this can be uh, three, four, or five-star hotels. Some of the accommodations that we offer don't technically have a star rating because they're maybe like a um, temple stay, which is a very unique kind of accommodation, or um, it could be something like a ryokan in Japan, which is a traditional Japanese inn. We have a variety of tours and sightseeing. Uh, this is one of our strongest suits, I think, across the board in all the regions that we sell. We have a real a variety, so anything from a standard private city sightseeing tour to something really specialized, like going to a market and then doing a sushi making class in someone's home. Maybe you can go into a local village in northern Thailand and see how the locals live, be invited into their home and have a meal with them. Uh, so, you know, it's something for everyone there. We can also, um, you know, create a fully customized experience for someone if they have an idea of what they'd like to do. We have a real stronghold with rail. Uh, it's a great uh, time saver for agents. I know it can be cumbersome booking it on your own, and there are a lot of rules and regulations. We make it really easy. So we do sell rail on three continents. Europe, South America, and Asia. In Asia, we really highlight some itineraries in Japan, China, and South Korea by rail. We do also have some cool small ship cruises in Asia, like on the Yangtze River, and the Mekong, Halong Bay. So please check those out with us. And then, of course, there are some really uh, great cruises that cover all of Asia. Uh, we do a really great job in customizing a pre- or post-cruise day. So sometimes people just want to have a really personal experience before or after their cruise, and they want to get away from the mass crowds. We can do that for you. And of course, with everything happening in the world now, especially the weather is super unpredictable. This morning at 3.30 here in Portland, I woke up to a massive thunder and lightning storm, um, shook my windows. Uh, so you just never know what the weather is going to do. So be sure to protect your clients and give them an option for um, in case something happens, like with their flights or something during travel. So who is an Avanti traveler? We have a variety. 
you know, it's really uh, anyone that's looking for a customized experience. It could be families or a honeymoon couple. It could be millennials or boomers. It's really for people that want to have that freedom and flexibility of planning their vacation exactly as they please. I also wanted to mention that it is for independent clients. So if you are, you know, trying to sell an escorted experience, the way that it works with Avanti is that, especially in Asia, we always are booking private guides. So we tend to, you know, book the hotel stays, private transfers, private uh, sightseeing. So you don't have the same person with you throughout your trip, but you get to meet a variety of people at all different touch points. Um, and it is really Avanti's specialty to connect the dots. So we are specialists in multi-destinations. That could be multiple cities within the same country or multiple uh, countries connected together. In Asia, we really do see, see people, because it is long haul, going for longer stays. So, you know, it really is more like uh, 10 to uh, two weeks, 10 days to two weeks. And just to give ourselves a little uh, pat on the back. <laughs> we uh, are very lucky to have been voted and awarded uh, Best Tour Operator to Asia. We, um, this is our third year in a row, so we're really thankful for this award, especially the WAVE Award, since it is all voted by travel agents. And I did want to mention that um, our Go365 campaign is in progress right now. This is our winter travel campaign. Uh, this uh, is for travelers uh, departing between October and March. And we really are looking at things specifically that can only be done during those months. So Asia is a really large destination, but um, we have kind of like different weather sections within Asia. So there's cold weather destinations. You can go visit snow monkeys in Japan, but we also have some really, you know, tropical destinations in Southeast Asia, also Indonesia and the Philippines. So please feel free to check that out. You can find it right on our website. And also we do have an offer out there. So if you, we are extending it through the month of September. So you heard it here first. Um, but if you book your winter travel on our agent portal and it's a minimum 3,000 booking value, then uh, you will be eligible for uh, a $50 gift card. And it's a great service um, that uh, you can redeem from. So there's about 30 different options and it can get mailed right to you. And we're going to uh, head over to the product section. But first, I did just want to mention that if you did see our new brochures, uh, there are um, some new terms of service printed in there. So effective next week, the land minimum will be increased from $500 to $750. We are also increasing our uh, land deposit. So it has been $150 per person for about 15 years since I've started at Avanti. So we have increased it to $250 per person. This is because our suppliers are um, themselves getting asked for higher deposits from the providers that we're using. And uh, full payment is due 75 days prior to departure. This is an increase of 15 days. So let's get started with some product updates from Janet. Janet, will you give us a little recap of what's new in Asia? Of course. So we have added a lot of new products, including hotels throughout, you know, all destinations, three, four, five-star hotels. We have new packages as long as unique tours that we've been adding over, you know, this month and year. And um, I'm looking forward to um, showing you what we have highlighted today. Ooh. Down in Indonesia, the yes. Bali shot is epic. All right, let's get started with our um, new destination that we added. It is Abu Dhabi. You might be like, wait, we're doing, you know, General Asia um, training right now. What um, UAE has anything to do with um, this region? But um, UAE has been a great stopover for clients flying out the East Coast to Asia. 
so Emirates has good airfare. Um, so we've been launching Dubai with um, the rest of Asia destinations for the past two years now. But now we just added Abu Dhabi due to high demand. Um, for this particular um, tour, you'll get to ride on the camel. You know, we're going to have a beautiful sunset along with the um, delicious buffet dinner under the stars. Um, the tour duration, about six hours. And I'm so excited to let you know, if you haven't received our printed brochure yet, I want to let you know that we have launched our new destination in our Asia portfolio. It is Mongolia. And um, right now, we have launched three different packages. But today, we're going to talk about the Great Gobi Adventure, which should be our essentials one. Um, so for this one, it's going to be a six itinerary. Um, it is three, I'm sorry, nine days, eight nights. It's four nights in Ulaanbaatar, which is the capital city. And it's four nights at the Jur Camp, which is really special. The reason why this is not an FIT package because you know because of the destination destination itself, it is easier and um, um, better logistically to have it all in one. Of course, you can edit some here and there, but um, this is the best way to travel to um, to to Mongolia. So um, we started with three, but definitely you know if. Um, we see there's no potential for more. We definitely will add more and we'll let you know. Um, for this package, it includes all the arrival transfers between the cities as well as domestic flights, actually, going to Ulaanbaatar to the, Great, um, to the Gobi Desert and from Gobi to um, Ulaanbaatar on your last night. Um, you have tour and routes around the whole trip. Um, this including, you know, like hunting for, for dinosaur bones, um, camel riding sessions, going to the Gobi Glacier for wildlife and um, and at the end of the night, last night, you'll get to um, um, watch a folk dance performance as well. And those are the, you know, one of the sceneries you'll see. I've asked someone who just recently got back from Mongolia, and they say there's not really just one highlight of the whole trip because it's just such an incredible photogenic um, destination. Like every, like all the landscape is so different, all the wildlife animals and just the people, it just just a really unique destination. I'm actually going in a week, so I'm really excited. and I can't wait to let you know all about it as well. Um, so a combination is also the highlight of, you know, when you go out to the Gobi Desert. So this one I want to highlight is called the Gobi Sun um, Deer Lodge. Um, so it is, um, you know, south of Ulaanbaatar. And within the Jir, though, you do have all the, accommodation, all the amenities that you need for, you know, a standard um, accommodation. So you can see the picture here. We have private facilities, of course, in each unit. Um, this would be the dining hall. Um, the next picture. This is what you see. It's really rustic. You know, you get everything that you need. Um, just really different. It just reminds me of like, you know, when you go to Japan, you have to stay at the real con. When you go to Mongolia, you have to stay at the jerk camp. Next, we're going to China. Before we just get into the product, I just want you to know that um, the Chinese consulate is getting kind of um, getting more strict about um, visa applications for Americans. But we have our um, third party partner, which is the IBT or Visa Central, um, who help us with our clients to apply for visa. So you can check out on the agent, agent portal, um, which they usually connect with us to get all the hotel confirmation and everything to make it easier for you to apply for the visa. Just FYI. Um, so this is our brand new package for China. It's called Sacred Wonders of China. And I've added this due to high demand as well because everyone wanted to go to that hanging monastery. A lot of people don't even know where it is. So we did other research and asked our supplier to come up with this package. It is best as a regional highlight out of Beijing. It takes about an hour flight to the Tong. And in this package, we have one night in the Tong and two nights in Tingyao. Um, so when you go to the Tong, um, we have like a city tour. You're going to get to see like amazing temple and the um, grotto. And um, en route, you're going from the Tong to Pingyao. That's where you're going to stop at the um, monastery, the hanging monastery. And it's still a wonder to many architects because the way it was built, like it was built about 1,500 years ago. And, um, you know, it's still a mystery how, you know, it got up there. But um, to the locals, um, the, the amazing part about the temple is the fact that um, it has three different um, religions within one. So it has like Taoism, Buddhism, and also Confucianism. 
And then once you get to Pingyao, you get to see this little cute town. The way I think of it is like, you know, um, China has a really um, long history, but for this little town, it just makes, it reminds me of like what, you know, when you see in the movie, what like old Chinese town looks like, that's what I, you know, what, that's what I think of, of it. So it represents um, China really well. And then going to Hong Kong, um, so this tour is quite special because, as you know, um, Hong Kong is like capital, like country of all the Asian cuisines. Um, so within this tour, you get to basically eat your way out and learn about the culture as you eat the food. Um, what's a better way to learn about the country, you know, besides like eating? Um, I recommend you not eating so much breakfast before you start this tour because you're definitely going to be so full by the end of the tour. <laughs> All right, so we're going to Japan. Um, just so you know that, um, so the Summer Olympics going to be in Japan this coming year, but we will be closing out um, Tokyo from July 17th to August 16, 2020. So. so we're not selling any Olympics. Correct. So um, this one is like Kinosaki Onsen Hopin, three days, two nights. And the special um, about like the special part about this package because a lot of clients always ask us, um, you know, they want to stay at the onsen or like real kind of accommodation in Kyoto. But just so you know that Kyoto is not really a destination for onsen um, because you know they're not really natural hot springs there. So this package is a great add-on um, between clients staying, let's say, from um, Kyoto, they do this onsen, um, this um, Kinosaki stay, and then they go to Osaka. So it's a great add on to a regular um, golden route. And um, what's really amazing about this town is it's basically like has so many bath houses and the hotel that comes with the, um, the path for you to hop from one to the other. And you basically just stay, like stay in Yukata for the whole two nights. It's amazing. <laughs> and um, they're really um, tourist friendly. As you know, a lot of um, public baths is in um, Japan um, are not allowed people with tattoos, but for this town, they actually um, understand and um, they actually allow a lot of um, our clients who have tattoos, they can actually use um, public baths. But if you're not comfortable sharing baths with other people, um, your hotels can, um, you can book hotels with open air baths so you can have your, um, your entire onsen by, by yourself. Another highlight is um, a Japan accommodations. Um, this one is like a Joan in Tokyo, and our COO actually got back from Japan not too long ago, and he was like, you, we have to add this one because it's so amazing and great location, and um, although it's in Tokyo, it gives you the feeling that you're actually in the resort. Um, next picture. So it has a combination with like modern with like a Japanese twist to it. You can see in the picture that it's actually a regular Western bed with a tatami floor. Next, we're going to get some of the Japan experiences. Um, this one is a private dinner with a geisha in Kyoto. So we have a um, really special guide. His name is Peter McIntosh, and he's been working with our supply and with us for quite some time now. And um, he, his, special, his specialty is in um, geisha. He studied geisha you know, in college as well as, like, he actually married an ex-geisha too. So he's definitely an expert. So within this tour, it just, him and walking, you know, through the Geisha district, and you're going to have a chance to have a dinner with Geisha and watch her performance. Um, it could be either with Maiko or um, Geisha. The duration is about three hours. This is a new package in Japan. It's called Secrets of the Inland Seas. We've got two nights in Kyoto, two nights in Hiroshima, and two nights in Okayama. I would recommend this package for clients who've been to Japan before and they've done, you know, the Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka. Um, and this one's just something a little different. Um, it is um, highlights of the Tsuchi region. Yeah, so within the package, again, comes with arrival departure transfers. The package also includes green class, real between cities. Green class is also known as first class. And you get all the highlights of Kyoto, Hiroshima, Miyajima as well. And then um, a state tour out to um, um, Tomonura. And the pictures here you see is in um, Okuyama, this Okuyama castle. Going a little bit down south, um, we're going to South Korea. 
And for South Korea, we have several pack, um, small like regional states, but for this one, I want to highlight the Gyeongju city state. I just came back from Korea uh, a couple months ago, and I got a chance to visit this one, and it was so beautiful. This is Bokusa um, Temple, three nights. Um, the package we have is for three nights stay, and I recommend to do as as on out of Seoul, and you can travel by a bullet train, so it's pretty convenient. Well, how long does that take? Ooh, I think it's about an hour and a half, less mm -hmm. than two hours. Yeah, yeah. What's the train like in South Korea? It's really nice. It's very, um, very clean, really punctual, really on time. And I love train travel mm -hmm. just because you don't have to deal with, you know, traffic or like, you know, like plane. Usually you like have to check in two hours before and all that. But for a train, you can just show up there, you know, right on time and you hop in and you can see the beautiful scenery of Korea countryside too. So is it easy to find like the platform of yes. the train? Yes, everything is so clear and also in English. And um, within the package, again, come with private arrival and departure transfers. You actually have a guy with you from Seoul all the way to Gyeongju and back to Seoul. Um, it comes with the Gyeongju city tour. You saw in the first picture, it was the temple, the book the temple, and this one is a magic pond. And it was built back in the days for the king, um, you know, to be have his like, um, basically kind of feel like he's not working, it's like a vacation house basically. Um, so they would bring like a ancient animal, like not ancient, uh, exotic animals and, um, and plants and um, flowers to be in the area. So that's just kind of um, the main idea of it. So within this tour, though, it doesn't include this, but you can ask the guide if you want to wear a hanbok attire, you know, the um, Korean traditional attire, and you can walk around and take pictures around the, the, the Najipan as well. And then within tour, we have the hiking to Mount Namsan. Um, Gyeongju is also known as a museum without wall just because it has a lot of, um, you know, Buddha statues and pagodas like, scattered throughout the mountain. And one of the um, fun experience is the Taekwondo with Korean dry sauna or Jinjibang. Um, so basically you get to you know learn about taekwondo with the masters and then heading to jim Jibang or the dry sauna this is the typical thing that koreans do um you know i love whenever i go to each country besides food but i love it's like the spa and the sauna you know japan has like onsen so this is like korean style um massages and sauna so we get there um you get the duration of about four hours for this tour and lots of snacks yes you can eat there too <laughs> And then we're going to Thailand. Um, we're in what, like the end of August right now? In November 11th and 12th this year, we have the Yibing Festival or the Floating Ran Lantern. So in the central part or the rest of the country actually doing like floating lanterns in the river. But in the north of Thailand around Chiang Mai, they have Yibing, which is the one that you float in the sky. And it only happens during the full moon in November. So this year, I think it's about the 11th and 12th. So I, um, we have a tour that um, the guy will take you there to like see the ceremony and do the float like lanterns. Um, so I recommend if your clients still have time uh, or if they're traveling in November already to book this tour. And we have connecting the capitals of Thailand, um, three nights in Bangkok, two nights in Ayutthaya, and two nights in Sukhothai. Um, so in the picture you see here, it's in Bangkok. You can see how busy it is, you know, um, it's a skyscraper. But for Ayutthaya and Sukhothai, these are old capital cities of Thailand. Um, so in the picture, this is uh, Ayutthaya. And going to the next one. So for in the picture here is um, Sukhothai. Within this tour, I think it's really special because you know um, a lot of times Thai package, Thailand packages usually include Bangkok, and then you go to Chiang Mai, you know the mountain hills and all that, and then you go down south for the beaches. But for this tour, it's um, focusing more in the central part of Thailand and more of the ruins and the history of um, Thailand. So within this tour, you'll see. Um, Kret, um tour, which is an island in Bangkok, and you can see the old way of like, um, you see some people like still cooking the Thai dessert in the traditional way, and they're also known for pottery. And in Ayutthaya, uh, this is really special, and I did this last year. It is um, you get to do some organic rice farming with the with the farmers. And right when you do that, um, after that, you're going to get to cook with the locals. So they'll ask you to like pick up some vegetables and then you can like, you can literally make coconut, like coconut milk from scratch. So you like, you know, like literally carve all the coconut meat and then you like squeeze with a little water and then get the coconut milk and make some um, um, with curry with it. 
Um, and then when, of course, um, when you go to um, the Kotai, you want to see all the ruins, the temple ruins, like back in the days, because the Kotai is one of the oldest um, capital city of Thailand. Thailand accommodations. This one's really special to me, too. Um, uh, this is one of my favorite hotels in Bangkok, actually. Ashley was telling Gina earlier, if I can pick one hotel that I want to have a wedding in, it would be this hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boutique property, um, five-star. It's definitely five-star luxury um, pop property in Bangkok. It's right by the, the river. Um, one, of the pro like, one of the buildings actually was brought from Jim Thompson houses. So that's really special, um, and we can book that as well. Um, so it's definitely a luxury in Bangkok, and when you're there, even though in the city, you feel like you're actually in the resort because it's still, like, a little bit outside of like the main city, but it's still, um, the, you can travel there by boat or by uh, car really easily. Next, we're going down south in Thailand in Panga. Um, happy to let you know as well that besides Phuket, now we actually have Panga as the city stay. Um, Panga, um, area the most popular one would be in Kaolak, which is where this is, the so north of Kaolak. And um, Kaolak takes about an hour and a half by car to um, Phuket Airport. So to go to Panga, you still have to fly into in and out of Phuket. But the transfer is pretty easy and you can see you know beautiful scenery along the way. Um, so in this property, you can see that it's surrounded by green trees and blue ocean. It is a beachfront property. Beautiful, like beautiful. Next, we're going to Thailand experiences. Um, this one that I want to highlight is in Krabi. It's called Tiger Cave Temple and City Tour. Um, the special about this is um, you get to climb up the flight to stairs to see this beautiful view. And um, besides the temple itself, around the temple, there are so many caves that you can explore. Some of them are actually not even known to the um, to to the tourists yet, and that just kind of tell you how like what a what a great secret that that is, and it has like beautiful tropical rainforest around the temple. And we're moving to Vietnam. And for Vietnam, this one's actually Vietnam with Sam Reap um, City Stay. So we're talking about 11 days, 10 nights. Um, I added Sam Reap to this Vietnam package because I think Sam Reap or, you know, where Angkor Wat is, is really special. And I feel like every time you visit, um, you know, like whether it's Thailand or Vietnam, I would love to have anyone stop by in Sam Reap at least for three nights too. So I just want um, to introduce this package to you. And um, within this package, of course, you get to see Halong Bay in the north of Vietnam, and you're gonna get to do all the cities, um, city tours, including Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City. And for this one, we also added um, Bana Hughes tour, which is in Da Nang. If you haven't seen it yet, it's the one that has the, um, the stone hands that carry like the golden bridge. Um, Bana Hughes takes about um, two hours from the Da Nang city, but um, from there, our guides will take you to um, Hoi An. And Hoi An is actually my most favorite city in Vietnam. It's just so cute. At night, you can walk around the old quarter and you see the beautiful lanterns, like the whole town only lit up by um, lanterns, no lights really. Um, so within this um, package, you also get to see Hoi An. Um, through the food tour, of course, um, you're gonna be traveled by electric scooter. Because in Hoi An, you can either basically walk or use an electric scooter because it's such a small town. And for the same red portion, you get to explore Angkor Wat, um, the Angkor tour by um, Tuk Tuk. And then you get to be Khmer for a day. So you're going to get, you're going to be traveled by this ox cart with the local, and you're going to be there. You know, like they might have some different projects um, for the village during that time, and you'll be able to pitch in some help or just hang out with the locals, and then you can um, lunch with them at the end, too. <laughs> and that's a picture of. Um, skin drip. And we're going to Vietnam accommodations. And um, this one is La Fiesta Central. And I actually came upon this um, th this property just by walking randomly in the, um, the the old quarter. I walked by and I just got so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, like we don't have this one on the portfolio. Can I please inspect you? Um, so I, I had a chance to take a look at the hotel and it's such a cute property, you know, it's a four star boutique. Um, really centrally located, just right by the lake, um, has beautiful rooftop too. Um, so I really highly recommend this one. And we get really good relationship and good, um, good price for this one as well. 
and from Vietnam we're going to Singapore. Okay, I said this many times, you never <laughs> heard this already, but if you haven't seen this movie, you definitely should. I've watched it three times myself. So, um, Crazy Rich Asians inspired tour. Um, you've seen the movie, we'll basically highlight where they've been in the movie. So, um, the super trees at the gardens by the bay, and you um, get to see the Marina Bay Sands Sky Park, which is on top, and then the Newton Food Center. So, the, the tour takes about five hours. You're going to be doing it without private guides. And going down a little bit further to Indonesia. And um, so for Indonesia, we've got um, Java Island, which we currently see here, Jakarta and Jakarta. And then we have Bali. And um, Bali, of course, known for you know beautiful um, scuba diving or diving um, areas and beaches. And um, for this one, we added is the one to um, Padang Bay, which is more on the eastern part of, um, it's on the eastern part of Bali. And pretty straightforward. It just you're gonna see a lot of beautiful like you know fish, um, different type of fish, and just like different type of coral. Um, so this tour is about eight hours. You know, take the time to um, to get there and then do the dive, um, snorkel, and then come back. So I highly recommend this one if you're gonna be in Bali. And then moving to the Philippines. Um, so we recently added Boracay. Um, everyone really wants to go here because it's a really cute town and has some sort of like a, you know, like a resort type of um, accommodation. Um, so for this one, it's a four-star boutique. You can see how cute it is. It's really cute. <laughs> um, so this one hand-picked by our supplier and, you know, it's just, it's, 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 I feel like it saves a lot about Avanti too. It's more of like a smaller scale um, boutique property, not a lot of rooms, but, you know, really friendly staff and just, you know, um, very convenient too because it's by the beach front. In the package we have for the Philippines, the one we recently added is the Secrets of Sharkao. Um, five nights, I'm oh, sorry, five days, four nights. And Sharkao is known for a capital of um, surfing. So even though you don't know how to surf, don't worry, there's still other activities for you to do, including island hopping um, tour or like just hop around the, the rock pool. Um, so for the Philippines, um, just want to let you know that a lot of times you actually do the activities with the resort or the hotel. Um, so they usually have a selection for you to pick from. Sometimes it's included in our package and it will, will make sure it's clear. Other times you might just have to pay a little bit on the spot, but it's really inexpensive. Majority of hotels already include all the non-motorized activities, including something like um, uh, snorkeling or just like you know windsurfing or kayaking so you'll have plenty of activities to do with um, once you're there so it's just one of the examples well thank you Janet for that whirlwind <laughs> through Asia um, I know we've covered a lot of information uh, we do have one question that I think is great to cover right now which is how do you pick a package with Avanti? I only see ways to build FIT. So this is a great question. Um, actually, we have a whole bunch of tools for you uh, to gather more information and to help you sell these uh, destinations, packages, or customize the complete vacation with your clients. So one of the tools we've created are e-brochures. So these are pretty much single topic. It could be based on a theme or a destination. We launched quite a few this year. So in Asia, um, Janet mentioned we have this new Secrets of the Inland Sea. This is in conjunction with a campaign we did earlier this year for the Fituchi region of Japan. So this is kind of like everyone knows Hiroshima and Kobe, but there's also some other destinations that we're now highlighting like Okayama that uh, Janet mentioned. This this Satuchi e-brochure has some really great recommendations for specific kinds of clientele. So maybe your clients are passionate about foodie tours or, you know, traveling, you know, exploring on their own. Maybe they loved Greece. This might be a great thing to suggest to them. There's like 3,000 islands in the Satuchi <laughs> region. So um, we give you a uh, ideas of how to either customize it, FIT. We also give you full day-by-day -day descriptions um, if we have a package there. We also launched another campaign earlier this year uh, with South Korea uh, Tourism. They have 
such a cool uh, office structure because not only are they promoting, but they're helping us create a lot of the suggestions for travelers. So they help us a little bit with our product development and giving us suggestions because, you know, they are experts in their field and they know exactly what's happening in their own home country and they helped us um, send Janet over earlier this year and <laughs> get you. some more destination experience. But we do um, have like South Korea Essentials. We launched that when we launched our Asia program, which really connects Seoul, Busan, and Jeju Island. So we have some information about that. But also South Korea has a variety of kind of ancient uh, villages that are still intact. They still have like, you know, all the stone and slate walls and roofs and those um, beautiful floors and like the very open kind of like screen doors. Um, so it just gives you some ideas of what you can do in and around Seoul, but also, you know, South Korea is an emerging destination. You have tons of people going there for cruising and now you have, you know, a lot of people have, um, like, especially in my age group, they taught English there, and they want to go back with their families and show them, like, all these great destinations within South Korea. So those are, like, great opportunities to promote the culture, cultural travel, and really, like, find a destination that a lot of people haven't been to yet. So if you have not seen our new printed brochures in your office, you can um, go onto our website uh, under the marketing section of the agent portal, which is all password protected uh, for to ensure that it's only for agents. You can click that little brochures um, link, and then you'll actually land onto a landing page that has all of our e-brochures listed, but you can click that order brochures uh, button right at the top and uh, select your quantities. We have Europe, Central and South America, and Asia on there. And I was talking about those day-by-day uh, -day, uh, itineraries. These are super easy to find, either from our consumer site where all of the CTAs, the calls to action, they contact your travel agent, or you can access it right from our uh, agent portal. Oops, sorry. So you click on the region that you're looking for, and then, for example, this is our Great Panda Adventure. Um, it gives you literally what an itinerary would look like with Chengdu, Xi'an, Shanghai, and Beijing, and what 12 nights, or sorry, 12 days in China might look like. Um, so this is a great resource for you. We have a lot of different kinds of options throughout all the different destinations we sell. I mean, Avanti now sells. 61 destinations. Uh, so it is really, um, it's really like, you can't be an expert in everything, even in our call center. We have, you know, uh, all of our travel consultants, they are taught on specific regions of the world. So when you are calling in about Asia and you click that Southeast Asia line, those travel consultants have specifically been trained to service that destination. So they know a lot of details about, you know, entry requirements, logistics, kinds of accommodations, and can really help you craft something uh, super specific for your clients. But if you do need more training or have more questions about Avanti, uh, we have an amazing team of regional sales directors out there in the United States. Uh, for a long time, we only had, can you believe it, three regional sales director. Wow. We've been adding slowly but surely. Um, at the end of 2018, so last year, we added a seventh region, which is the Mid-Atlantic covered by Jeannie Cook. Uh, and then actually back in May of this year, just a few months ago, we added an eighth territory. Uh, this, uh, um, it's basically covering Southern California and Southern Nevada. So that is now covered by Ronnie Astrachek, who's based down in the LA area. So they are there to support you. So if you need office trainings, webinars, uh, you might meet them at a trade show. Uh, they are our eyes and ears on the ground. And if you have not yet booked with Avanti, here are the ways you can contact us. So we have um, our www.avantidestinations.com. This is technically a consumer site. 
which just means to us that there's no pricing. You can't book on there, but it has a lot of information. So it's kind of an informational site where you can find out more information just about like who Avanti is. If you have clients that, that have questions about who is Avanti, you know, it shows that we are US owned and operated. We're actually privately owned. Uh, we've been based in Portland for ever since the beginning, since 1981. We have actually about 100 and 70 staff worldwide now. We do have some op operational offices like in Barcelona now. We did launch a group team um, last year so they can, we can now handle groups of 15 people or more. Um, it's all customized groups so you don't actually buy into a group. And so it's, uh, it's still Avanti style. Um, and uh, you can call into our reservation center Monday through Friday from 6.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And then uh, if you prefer to work by email, you can contact us at requests at avantidestinations.com. Uh, this especially works well if you already have a quote and you just need to make a quick modification. They have a really quick turnaround. That team does an excellent job. Um, all of our teams do, but we hear a lot of comments <laughs> about the responsiveness and how easy uh, it makes the agent's life. As corresponding by email. So thank you all so much. I'm going to open it up to some questions now. Um, let's see. So we have one question about the client link to look at Avanti. We just covered that. So that's www.avantidestinations.com. Uh, you can see it on the slide now. If you just want to go directly to the agent portal, it's book.avantidestinations.com. Um, we have a question about the webinar today. If it's being recorded, we are. Uh, so we'll be sure to send anyone that is on or registered with us uh, a recording. It should go out early next week. With some follow-up to links on our e-brochures and how to order our 2020-2021 Asia print brochures. Um, and we typically get questions, this is always a fun one, about agents wanting to travel themselves. We do ha um, have a variety of educational trips that we host. It's uh, with our consortia partners. So if you uh, want to be on those lists, please, please either reach out to your regional sales director. They'll add you to their personal list whenever we're sending out um, those opportunities. Or please be sure to check with your consortia uh, supplier page. Those are always posted there. Uh, but if you uh, aren't available for joining us there, we also offer um, agent discounts. So if you are booking for your personal travel, it's up to 20% off of the gross. Um, so all you have to do to qualify for that is set up your quote and then um, you just need to email or fax us your IOTA card credentials and then that goes to our reservation team and then we'll make the adjustment right on the fly. But if no one has any other questions, I'm going to wrap it up for today. And um, yeah, Janet, do you want to leave? Uh, with a parting thought and <laughs> for our audience today. Um, well, thank you so much for your time. You know, it's been a lot of fun creating all these new products, and I hope you and your clients enjoy them as much as, you know, we do. And um, there is, all, you know, we don't have that much time to cover all the new products that we have. So please check out the printed brochure as well as your agent portal because a lot of new products are going to be on, um, on, on the website. Thank you, Janet, and thanks everyone for joining us today. I did want to let you know uh, that we are going to have um, a bunch of webinars <laughs> this fall, so look out for those invitations. Thank you so much for your support, for joining us, and for your time today. Have a great rest of your summer. <laughs>